To say that Dave Young, Jermaine Buckner and Steve Sir have a close bond would be an understatement. These three have been inseparable dating back to 1998 when Buckner and Sir walked through the doors of Ross Shepherd High School along with a talented grade 10 class to play basketball for Coach Young. They came in, they kind of, they worked together, they, um, they held each other accountable. If one guy wasn't working hard, uh, they kind of got on him. You know, I, I had to get on him a couple of them sometimes, but I mean, for the most part, they all got on each other. Um, and it was just, a, it was a coach's dream, really. Yeah, I mean, we had a great group of guys here. You know, we came in with uh, that young group, uh, with Brandon, Steve, Joel, Phil, and myself. And um, I know we, we just were able to push each other. We all had similar goals. We knew what we wanted to do. We all knew what we wanted to do in our years here at Shep, and then following going to play post-secondary basketball. Those Ross Shepherd teams won three straight provincial titles, and while Coach Young stayed at Shep where he remains coaching to this day, Buckner went on to an NCAA career at Richmond while Steve went to Northern Arizona. They both then moved on to pro careers, all the while keeping in touch with their coach. The thing that was always special about the relationship that Jermaine and myself formed here, and also with the other guys that we did, was uh, as we moved away from Shep and did other things, you could tell in how we interacted with each other, we were all very proud of the things we accomplished together and the things that we were accomplishing apart. And over the years, Dave has been a mentor to me and he's always kept in close contact all the years since I've left, since I was in middle school, you know, and after graduating high school, went down to Richmond. He made a trip down to Richmond to visit. I know he made a couple trips out to visit Steve as well. So, I mean, he's like family to us and he, he's not a, I don't see him as a coach. I see him as a friend and as, as a brother, you know. It's so cool that for us to have been in a player-coach relationship and now to be close friends, confidants. Uh, if we call and talk, basketball will be part of the conversation, but it'll also just be about how are your kids, you know, how's your wife, how's, I, I just had a baby, how's your baby doing, introducing my baby to Dave, uh, things that go so much farther beyond basketball. That's what makes it so special. I mean, uh, they are two of my best friends and, uh, uh, and I, um, yeah, I can't, I, I can't really describe the relationship. It, it, uh, it's really special to me. The guys that are more full. This season, that friendship was reunited on the court with all three as Dave accepted the head coaching job with the Edmonton Energy, who Jermaine and Steve play for. And this year came up, and Steve and I had talked about it, and I thought, well, you know what? If we can get Jermaine to do this, I'm in. For me, it's not, not much about coaching. Um, they've gotten really good coaching. Uh, for me, it's about spending time with him, and I've really enjoyed it. We respect Dave so much that, I mean, he can have that, you know, that, that uh, friendship relationship with us and still coach us, you know, because we respect him. I, I don't think you, I think it's very rare to have that where he doesn't have to worry about treating us differently, you know. We're both mature guys, and we're both going to go into practice every day and work hard. At the risk of sounding dramatic, it, it's wonderful to be able to play for Dave again and to play with Jermaine again. Um, Jermaine is the kind of player that, he's the kind of player that if you, if you have a kid, you hope he grows up to play like. He's good at everything. He, he plays hard, he, he competes, he knows what he's doing, he's intelligent. Dave is, in spite of the fact that he'll never tell you himself, he's a very good coach. He's very accomplished, he, he, he knows the game, and he's been a wonderful mentor to Jermaine and myself. They may not have known it almost 15 years ago, but the sport that first brought these three together as coach and players will now keep them together as best friends through life. Jordan Greenlee, Shaw TV, Edmonton.